Hey everyone, welcome back to another multiplayer round. Got a nice full card for Windswept, Highlander's Ridge, and I think was that Lost Island at the end? I didn't get a chance to see that before it went away. I'm gonna take my accurate wind fuse, aim it low down here to the island. I've ace run this a few times, never actually hit it, but I have hit off the top of the basket and gone OB. So that hasn't been very fun, so I'm just gonna lay that up and take the birdie there. I was working earlier today on a video a few people have been asking for about throw-ins. You hear me talk about throw-in power and how I'm making adjustments along the way. I would make a short little tutorial video to really flesh all it all out for you guys who are interested in seeing that. Uh, here in one step five, take the accurate light sapphire, a little bit of anhyzer to get out around there wide. Now it when you're learning new lines, it's probably best to change your aim points rather than changing angles because it's easier to set aim than it is to remember an angle. On a lot of these holes, though, I'm just been playing them so long, I've gotten kind of lazy, and it's easier to go a more default aim and adjust the angle to get to where I want, which is honestly nothing wrong with angles if you know them. It's when you don't know them or when you make mistakes that you start to run into issues. I think the sapphire will clear this just fine, even with that win. Yep, okay. A little bit close I would have liked. If that was a little bit more headwind, I might have been in some trouble there. So I probably should have gone glide roll rive. But it did manage to work out, so put in with that hope. I have a throw-in video up right now. I shared with some people on the Discord. If I remember, I'll put that link for Discord in the description of this video, so you can join if you're interested and seeing things a bit earlier as they're coming out or participating in some what's the play and tips and tricks discussions that we have in real time there. But I have it out for a few people there now. I'm getting some feedback and I'll either post it up later today or just kind of scrap it and start over if that's what needs to happen based on the feedback I get. Here's Highlander's Ridge uh, 7 to get the accurate wind musket and get it out here to touch down just outside of the OB lines and kick up that hillside to be in a sweet little putting range. Excellent. I usually adjust that aim up, then playing around a bit more with when I'm close, just leaving it to decrease that spit out possibility. Because on flat ground, I'm often aiming downwards a little bit. So figure if I have a slightly elevated basket, aiming up is going to counteract that, kind of already aim down a little bit if I just stay where it is. Uh, I wouldn't take that advice yet if I were you because it's definitely still something I'm figuring out and playing around with. So the accurate roll musket it is on forehand this time. Good, not like in the last week's player's tour. If you watched that video, I definitely messed this up and did not remember to switch from backhand to forehand. I just yoinked that disc way OB. Uh, in the player's tour. It was a bummer. I just look at that one and the two other pars on Highlander Ridge, and if I had gotten those three strokes, I'd be sitting, I think, third place overall right now in the player's tour. And it's top five, if I remember correctly. Get an actual disc or gift card to the Latitude 64 store. This is the Accurate Glide Sapphire. Get low and get it up to this landing zone. There we go. Past that bridge is ideal, but if not, you still have a lot of play you can get in there. Did get there. Looks like Max and Micah both went for the bridge and got it. Let's uh, see if they can capitalize on those throw-ins and get those there too. Let's get this Accurate Glide Sapphire up here again. Good. Did not roll into the water. Max hit it. Let's see if Micah's going to hit it as well. Now Micah may have... Oh, did not, did not make it on the bridge. It's a bummer. That bridge, it's a lot of fun to go for, but at least if it's not a one wind, I'm not even taking the chance. And even then, sometimes in the one wind, it's not worth it for me to do. So Max tied it back up. Unfortunately, he had the par early on. So we're tied at the top. Josiah and Micah down one. With the one wind, I feel like it's just got to go for it. Slide right. Middle chevron on the skeleton's head. And I think about there's my angle. This looked like it could be good. A little bit of foliage and ramp up over. Yes. Okay, I'm able to get there. The work's not done yet because I'm still going to have to get 
up here. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure the paradigm would make it. I want to go glide skip so I can get closer, uh, but I'm worried about getting in the water, so we bail that out early. Don't hit the train tracks and get some play up there. This is not a for sure thing, but let's see if I am close enough. 140. So it's possible. It's just not, uh, definitely not in my for sure wheelhouse. But we are able to get that eagle. Right, is Max getting in there as well, or are we going to take the solo lead? Where are you at, Max? Oh, Max had some trouble. That's a bummer. This is definitely a hole that can be a blow up. Um, I'm pretty much only going for this in that one wind, or I have a helping wind, kind of a left to right tailwind is ideal for this to get up there. If I don't have that, I'm probably laying this up for a birdie, just throwing a sapphire off the tee to get out there because you can see that this happens. Blow ups are very common and very easy to happen there on Lost Island 8. Got two Lost Island holes left. I got one in Josiah, two on Micah, so I'll be watching what Josiah does. Oh, this wind is risking going OB if I throw skip. So I'm going to throw glide water skip. I don't really know this line at all. Let's just get way out there and hopefully... Don't go OB still. Oh man. My whole plan was just trying to not go OB. And here I am going to get potentially worse than par. Let's see if I can get this around the corner. Little hill skip. And as long as I'm not behind a pillar, I can get there for the par. Let's see, I think it was Josiah that was just one back on me. And Oh, did he get two? Did he get there? Dang, what a drive. That was really impressive. So I am now down to Josiah, who took over that lead. The very impressive drive, getting across to the green. That was awesome. Okay, here on four, I'm going to go accurate wind break, because I want the ground play. And let's counteract that headwind a little bit. Hopefully this does not kick in the water. This is scary. It does work out. Okay, now it's a matter of making the throw in. 90 foot throw in with a three headwind. That's 60 power. Let's trust the math and let's get that in there. It does get in there. All right, Josiah, it's up to you now whether you take the win or we end up tied here at the top. You got that throw in with a three headwind. What you got? And you got it. Nice shot. Very well played there by Josiah and my other opponents as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got some fun lines and some good tips out of this. As always in your round, stay bogey-free.